Okay, so percussion caps. All right, I've stamped out 12 single layer and 12 double layer caps. Uh, now we need to fill them. So let's turn our attention now to the Primal primer. And I've got another bag here already opened. Um, as I said, this consists of four parts. There's a part over there. And while the company selling it calls it Primal, the general consensus among other users, myself included in that, is that this is actually a type of primer that was used by the U.S. Army back in the 1930s called H-48. Uh, the company making this won't say one way or the other. They just call it Primal. If it is H-48, and he, well, even if it isn't, it's, it's a good primer. I've, like I said, I've used it once before last year. It's a good, good, reliable primer. If it is H-48, then these four ingredients consist of potassium chlorate, or perchlorate. Perchlorate is a le little less reactive than chlorate, but also has a more stable shelf life. Antimony trisulfide, sulfur, and some finely ground glass. And you can go on the internet if you want and buy those separately in larger containers and get enough materials to make tens of thousands of percussion caps, maybe should set you for life um, for about a hundred bucks. And you can do that anyway, even if this is not H48, H48 will work. So you get your uh, chemicals and you get this handy little scoop here, little plastic scoop. And it's got two little scoops on it. It's got a large scoop labeled L and a small scoop labeled S. And then your materials, they come also labeled with an L. This says 2L or an S. So you don't really even need uh, a scale to weigh anything out. You'll just take two large scoops, one small scoop, one large scoop, whatever's on the bag, and you mix it together. Separately, these are perfectly harmless. Once you start mixing these together though, the compound itself does become sensitive to impact, friction, and heat. Now it's the sensitivity to impact that we want as a primer, but it's the sensitivity to friction that we need to be concerned with while we're mixing it together. Because if you get too rough with mixing this stuff, the friction can set it off. Now to mix this all together, you're gonna need, again, your tweezers, your kit with your scoop, you're going to need a glass eyedropper and you're going to need a little shot glass or a container to hold some acetone in, which is why you want glass because acetone will eat up plastic. And the acetone is used to activate what the uh, manufacturer here is calling their proprietary hardening agent. Okay, I'm back. I got my acetone and one more thing that I am going to try. I don't know how well this will work out or not, but it's uh, it's kind of hard to get the primer down into these little caps, and especially if you're trying to use this scoop. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use a nail file, but I'm going to be careful not use the uh, the scratchy part. I'm just going to use this pointed part to kind of you know put it down in there. I'm going to try that and see what how that works. Oh, sorry about that. Back again, had to get my reading glasses so I could see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna mix our ingredients. Now, this, the white stuff, if it is potassium chlorate or perchlorate, is pretty bad about caking up. And we want to make sure that everything is, those are the double, no, those are the double, those are the single, yeah. Okay, you want to make sure everything's nice and crunched up before you mix any up, before you scoop any out. And uh, the manufacturer recommends use a piece of typing paper. You don't want to put it in a bowl and stir it. You can, but I would recommend glass bowl and a plastic or a wood stirring scoop. But again, I'm going to do it the way the manufacturer recommends. Um, I also highly recommend 
that you work in small batches. Do not ever try and mix all of it at the same time. I'm going to do two. That way, if you have an accident, it's a small accident. And once you're measuring this stuff out, again, you want to measure them out separately and make sure you get all of the little lumps and bumps out. Make sure it's all nice and powdery. You can always mix up some more. Um, I also advise strongly, if you have any left over, punch out some more caps. Don't keep this stuff on, on hand. Don't keep it on a shelf pre-mixed. Now again, that's kind of up to you, but I wouldn't. Now we're going to do one small scoop, actually three small scoops of the sulfur, which I know that's what that is. One, two, three, and that's, yeah, that's nicely powdered up. We're going to do three small scoops of the finely ground glass, and it helps to have little baby fingers. <laughs> not, not big fat old man fingers. And make sure we're on the small scoop again, yes. One, two, three, and we're going to do one large scoop of the antimony trisulfide, if that's what it is. Now, one of these ingredients also contains their proprietary hardening agent, but I don't know which that is. And there were some ideas from other viewers last year about how to make it even harder. And again, I am going to go back and try all these out, just not right away. Right now, for this test, I'm going to establish a baseline. I'm going to follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Now, here's how the manufacturer says to mix it. You pick up your paper and roll it back and forth. And anything like that little crunchy there that didn't get mixed up. It, um, it's hard to mix this way, to be honest. So, you can get your fingers involved a little. Um, you know, whether you want to or not, I guess, is kind of up to you. Some people are probably having a heart attack watching me do this right now. And anything that you don't get, you know, if you don't get it 100% completely well mixed, um, the acetone will help with that as well. And this is now explosive. So we do want to be careful with it. And it explodes uh, vigorously, I might add. Remember, we're only going to be using a very small amount in these primers, in these percussion caps. And you can also use this for reloading uh, regular bullet primers. That's called Prime All. They sell it for a variety of uses. And it's, I believe this is the same material that is used in paper cap rolls, those paper caps for cap guns, children's cap guns. I think it's the same stuff. Okay, that looks pretty well mixed up. I can see a little gritty stuff in it. I think that's the glass. Everything else looks pretty well mixed up. So,
Now we're going to start loading our uh, our percussion, our cap. So I'm going to start with a single cap, single layer, and uh, put it in my tweezers. You also want something flat and stiff to set them on to let them dry out. And what I'm going to do here is just very gently pour some in. Then, and not do this over the paper, I'm going to add a drop of acetone and then set this down to dry. So, things that can go wrong. Um, you can put not enough powder in. You can get your powder not your primer not properly mixed. You can put too small of a charge in. Um, your acetone can, you can form an air bubble between the powder, the primol, and the acetone. Your cap can hop out of your tweezers and uh, The acetone in that event just runs off. It looks like it's wet and it looks like everything's nice and wet, but it's not. And uh, your acetone just runs off. And then a drop. I think that one missed. There we go. So you need to be careful that cap doesn't stick to your finger. You need to be careful that you do get acetone all the way. You want to fill that cap up with acetone. Now what they recommend is that you just fill the primer, the primer, if you fill the cap loosely with Primol slash maybe H48 and then add a drop of acetone. The last time that I did this, I actually packed it down. And I probably should not have done that. Welcome to my world. <laughs> so anyway, you get the gist of this. I'm going to finish these up and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just finished up. I actually had some, uh, some primal priming compound left over. So I went out and punched out another 12 caps. So I got 36 caps. So you get about 12 caps for every batch of this that you make up. Something to keep up in mind if uh, you've got like an empty container and you want to make up a hundred at a time. Um, yeah, you get about 12 caps for each batch of these that you make. So now um, I'm just going to set these up, let them dry uh, overnight, uh, take them outside and try them out. <laughs> 